What's up guys, we got a special video for you today. I'm gonna teach you how to wall jump on controller in Apex Legends in season 15. Let's do it. I'm gonna teach you how to do the basic wall jumps all the way up to some more advanced stuff in Apex Legends. All right guys, let's get right into how to do a basic wall jump. But first, let's figure out your movement velocity. So in Apex Legends, your movement is so advanced that there's a couple things you need to keep in mind. So when you're moving around and you have your gun out, you move pretty fast, but when you have your gun put away, you move even faster, which gives you more movement velocity. It's about 15% more movement speed when your gun is put away as opposed to it being out. You just move a lot faster with it put away than out, which is gonna give us the velocity to slide jump into the wall to be able to wall bounce, okay? So always have your gun put away if you can help it. If you cannot, that's okay. Have your gun out, wall bounce, and then just fight, and you'll be just fine. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna show you guys how to do is how to wall bounce going straight at the wall, okay? So the first thing that you need to do when it comes to wall bouncing is you're gonna be running to get your maximum velocity. Now remember, every time that you can slide jump, at full speed is about three steps so you count one two three slide jump right so if it's any less than that you're going to get dead slides as you can see right here it's just a dead slide and you don't want that you want to be at your maximum movement velocity when you do this so you want to run slide jump at the wall and then jump okay and just hit the wall so that's the first thing run slide and then jump out to the wall okay that's the very first step that you're gonna do. Run, slide, and jump, and hit the wall. Now, when we hit the wall, we're gonna to wanna to jump and hit jump again. So we run, slide, jump, jump, okay? That's gonna be the key point when it comes to slide jumping onto the wall, is when, as soon as you hit the wall, you're gonna be slide jumping and then bouncing backwards. Now, the key trick to this is, is when you hit the wall, your joystick, your left joystick, or your keys, if you're using WASD, you don't need to be holding W or any other input when you hit the wall. You have to turn that off or take your thumb off the stick to be able to do the jump. Okay, so we're gonna run, we're gonna slide, jump, X, X, and then bounce off, okay? Or your jump button, whatever it is, space bar, or scroll wheel, jump, jump, and you bounce back. So again, one more time, guys, you're gonna run straight forward, slide, jump, jump, and bounce straight backwards. That's a basic wall bounce in Apex Legends. Now, into some a little bit more advanced stuff, and this is what you mainly see a lot of people do in Apex Legends when they're running around, is at the angle. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna be wanting, wanna be facing straight alongside the wall, and then all you're gonna wanna do is turn your joystick or your mouse about 30 degrees to look at the wall at an angle. It's about 30, 40 degrees. Now, when you're running, you wanna Im implement the same exact thing. You wanna run at full speed, slide, jump and then hit x onto the wall okay and we're just going to hit the wall right there again we're going to run full sprint slide jump jump and then bounce off okay so the second part of this is very important you have to when you're slide jumping you have to turn the stick enough to face the wall to get the jump off if you're going at just the angle right it doesn't work see if I'm running full sprint and I jump and then I go, I can't I can't bounce off of it at the at this angle. I have to turn my looking, you know, like my mouse or my thumbstick facing the wall. Okay, that's how we get the bounce off. So again, you're gonna want to run, slide, jump, turn, and then bounce off. Okay, so the next step is you're gonna want to run, slide, and when you jump here, turn your thumbstick or your mouse to face the wall, and then we're gonna press X again. So it's gonna look something like this. Run at full sprint, slide, jump, turn, okay? And then hit this. Now again, when we hit the wall, you wanna take your thumb off the joystick or take your finger off of WASD. And then all you're gonna do is, when you hit jump again, you're gonna turn out to whichever direction you're trying to wall bounce at. So this is what it looks like. Full sprint, slide, jump, turn, bounce off, and then go, okay? Again, run, slide, jump, turn, bounce off, and go. Run slide jump xx bounce off and turn again it's very important to take your thumb off the stick when you're wall bouncing to be able to do that okay so one last advanced movement tech you can do for wall jumping in apex legends is wall jumping to get over a wall or to another 
uh, location up onto another height. So what you can do is you can wall jump and then get up onto the building to help reduce climbing. Or what you can do is use wall jumping to get to another area, for example. So if I was to wall jump and then bounce, I can get up to here, no problem. And you can do this a lot with buildings inside of Apex Legends to get to a higher height without having to climb and get onto this platform without climbing. So what you can do guys again is just run at full speed, slide jump, hit the X button and get on top of another platform. This is probably the easiest way to do it to get to a high ground or a higher area without having to climb because normally you're gonna have to climb here. And it's a lot faster to slide jump, wall bounce and get up on here and then be able to fight. One last tip I wanna give you guys when it comes to wall bouncing in Apex Legends is say you have an opponent down here and you're fighting him right and you're this close to the wall so you can't really wall bounce but what you can do is use a close wall bounce to throw your opponent off to give you some advanced movement to have him miss some shots so you're fighting you go to reload all you're going to do is turn and then do the same exact movement tech as you would facing the direct wall so when you're running at it jump and then just hit x again double tap x and it's going to bounce you out to here to throw your opponent off so again bounce out and then you just destroy your opponent so again you're fighting reload oh crap right bounce out and it, it's it's such a good movement tech to just kind of push yourself off the wall and it's great and it throws your opponents off so that's another advanced tip that you can do when you're close to objects in apex legends for wall bouncing and all right guys that's going to do it for how to wall bounce inside apex legends in season 15 so get out there on controller on keyboard and mouse and get your wall bouncing down and style on some bots in apex legends if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe that really does help out the channel guys comment down below if this video has helped you improve your movement tech in apex legends and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace